Okay, we got the Checo Pro here. Got this on eBay for 40 bucks. It's a, it's a really good tool, but it's got some issues. So, what it's going to do, it's going to find the, uh, the actual center line on every ball and, uh, and basically makes it roll truer. And I tested it out, and it is, uh, it is accurate. Um, put it in here, and here's the mods already done, but I'll show you those in a minute. You just basically put this on here, push the button. Sometimes it wobbles a little bit, and you get it going. But it spins at a high rate, so it's going to send the. Uh, the centroid of the ball to the uh, to the outside and there's a line right here I can see where my line is and then it lines up with this hole over here the problem is is that hole only accepts the pin or the marker that CheckGo provides and they're not very good pins and there's some issues with the precision so I made a modification to it over on this side and I'll show you those in a second. So if you stop the ball, let it slow down here. Here's the things I experimented with this. Well, of course, I made the, the line on the ball and with my modification, it's it's right in the middle of the ball. It's not it's not on one side or the other, so it's very precise on that end. But at the same time, I marked it and then I put it back in here. Just however, turn it back on, and it's true. It does it does send the line exactly where it was before. I could mark another line, and it'd be right on top of it. Now keep in mind that your pen is not going to mark this this line like this. What I do is I made my modification and then I take a sharpie so I get this on here I got it modified I cut this part out which has nothing to do with how the the tool operates but it allows the the uh, stuff I, I used uh, some plastic and some um, and a glue gun so so that goes on there a certain way I just lined up the red and red down here so I knew where to put it on there but what I did is I made a, a small hole right here that fits a sharpie and uh, it's right there and then when this is spinning I just stick that in there and I have to make just a little bit of pressure and it'll just make a little little uh, nick mark around the ball and then I take that out and then I get out the uh, line them up tool and I can put that on there and then finish my line so it's kind of like a it traces it for you but it just makes little specks but the key is you want to get the plastic piece to be very close to the ball if you want it to be precise so this plastic piece is nearly touching the ball when it's spinning. It's just like a sixteenth of an inch away which makes it very precise on making your line. There's not a lot of room for for air there and I being a engineer myself I I like like the precision of the the tool and now now I'm real pleased with the precision of the modification I made. So again um, you know, you, you can test this out and and it'll show you that the the tool is is very very good. It's uh just a logical uh centrifugal force that creates the ball um spinning so that it basically if the center of the ball is let's say over on this side, it's obviously right in the middle where my finger is because it's spinning and that center of the ball is going to find itself 
spinning on the outside. And so therefore, when I make my line and I'm putting that, that, that weight is actually running down the middle and this ball will spin truer. So it, it's very interesting. You know, these are Pro V1s. It's very interesting. Every ball does have a, an offset to the center of the ball. It may be very round and I agree with that, but the weight inside is, is not perfect. So that's the, the Check Go Pro. Um, again, here's the, the hole I made right here. And it just barely accepts a fine, fine point Sharpie. Um, and that's the modification to the Check Go Pro.